Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jory and today we are going to have a little bit of a sit down hot takes kind of chit chat video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the crochet projects that are extremely popular that I just cannot get jiggy with at all. I absolutely love crochet. I love the fact that you can make virtually anything with just a hook and yarn but there are some projects that I've been seeing lately that kind of you know at least for the moment are really popular that I just do not like and today we're going to go ahead and just talk about what some of those projects are and I'll give you some reasoning of course as to why I'm not necessarily fond of them. Some of the things that I list might be things that you personally like yourselves. Apologies uh, in advance if you don't like the things that I like, but that is okay to each their own. So definitely leave me down in the comments what are some of the things that you aren't fond of and then also let me know if there's anything that is on my list that I don't like that you do like. So let's go ahead and hop into the first thing. So my first two things are actually not projects. They are unpopular opinions. I don't think these two are unpopular opinions. But my first one is that I'm not going to be making crochet anything for anybody in my life that doesn't deserve it or just like won't appreciate it. I have several individuals in my in my life who have requested for me to make stuff for them but it's not because they like actually want it or that it's something that they would wear or something that they would use. They just want it because they just want me to make them stuff because it like makes them feel special and I hate that because it's like why am I spending all this time spending all this money and time and energy and getting all this yarn to like put stuff together and craft these things with my whole heart for you and you like really truly don't even appreciate it. The second thing on my list is like I said also something that isn't necessarily a specific item but overall I'm just not going to make anything that does not bring me joy or just something that I don't love or don't actually have a purpose for it. I try my best to not become a hoarder in life um, and I try to only keep things that you know I'll actually use so if I don't love it I'm not making it. Of course with every project you know there's trial and error you know you start off with one thing it doesn't necessarily end out the way that you had envisioned that it was going to be and that's totally fine that's just part of the process of learning and growing but there are just certain things where you're kind of like on the fence on like do I really want to make this do I really like it all that much and to those I just say if I don't feel like 100% I definitely like this and I want this and I'm you know I want to take the time to sit down and piece it together then it is just not getting made. So the first crochet project that I actually will not be making anymore because I did make it once or twice or I don't know just a few times are crochet bikinis. I primarily have made different tops, uh, was never really a big fan of the bottoms. I made one pair and I learned very quickly that I don't like them and I don't like the bottoms just because I just think they're they wouldn't be that comfortable and I'm I just know I'm never gonna wear them but I got to thinking about it and I'm like I'm not really gonna wear a crochet bikini top either so there is simply just no point in me bother making them at all I've seen some designs that people have put together and they're really cute truly adorable but not something that I would wear not something I would use so I'm not even gonna bother I'm just not going to bother. It's not worth the energy. The second thing that I absolutely will not be making are blankets. I do not have the patience for this. I don't even want to begin to think of how much yarn you need to make a queen size blanket. Because at least I would think like if I made a blanket, I'd want to put it on my bed now. Um, and I have a queen size bed, so I need to make something that would fit on it. And just the thought of even having to do that makes me want to cry. I don't know why people like making blankets. It's too long of a process. I like to see my my products grow quickly and end quickly. I don't even want to begin to think of how long it would take me to make a blanket. 
they just require too much time, too much energy, too much patience that I don't have. And then I would be like probably too scared to even actually use it. So no blankets for me. The next thing that I am not going to make is something that is so popular right now. And those are the little like plushies, like these little animal plushies that I keep seeing all over like TikTok and YouTube. Mm, man, I, I really just don't like them. Like they're cute to look at, but I just don't understand their purpose. I get, no, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's also the fact that like, I'm not a stuffed animal type person. So I, that's just not appealing to me. But every single time I see people making like hundreds of them, I'm just like, why? <laughs> like, why would you want to do that? I do not, I, I, mm, I will not be making plushies. No. Mm -mm. It even got to a point where it was like so popular that they started making like little plushy kits where they like just gave you the amount of yarn that you need to complete like this little like penguin or something. And I'm just like, why do you need that? Like, I don't understand the appeal. It truly isn't for me. Do I think they're like cute? Sure. But I'm never making one of them myself. <laughs> the next thing that I will not be making is actually something that I think is kind of pretty. Um, I just have no use for it. And those are the crochet like flower bouquets. I don't really know like where you use them. I don't know. I guess you could use those like a centerpiece for like your dining room or something. I don't really know. I wouldn't use it as a centerpiece for my dining room, but people make them. People really seem to like them. I do think they actually look kind of pretty, but there's no way in the world that I'm making one or several of them. I'm not making any of them. I just feel like these crochet flowers are not practical. I don't understand their purpose. And I feel like if I want to have an arrangement of flowers somewhere in my house, like I actually want them to look real so even if they're not real flowers like I'd get fake ones that you know look like I grew them in my yard or something I don't know but I definitely don't want a crocheted version of it they're cute they're pretty I'm sure it probably takes a lot of time and energy to like put that all together it's very creative but it is not something that I will be making possibly ever the next thing isn't necessarily something that I might not ever do but i just can't foresee this in my future in you know the next five ten years and that is just crocheting anything with like the super thin yarns i've used like smaller weighted yarns but not the ones that are like specifically crochet or at least i don't know they call them that in like joann's and michael's when i'm in there but there are just some that are too thin and i'm just like i I don't know what it would feel like to have to work with yarn that small and how long would it take you to finish a project with a yarn of that small of like you know a thickness that just sounds like torture and I don't need that kind of I don't know this is a hobby that I do for fun and that just seems stressful and I don't need any more stress in my life I'm sure the outcome of things like that are like so pretty and like the detail you can see probably because the yarn is so fine like you can probably see more detail and stuff but I just can't I don't have it in me. Next up are shrugs. I actually really like shrugs. I've just learned that I don't like crochet versions of them and I actually did make a shrug before. It was not cute and I didn't enjoy the process of making it. It was too repetitive but I guess I'll have to get over that. I don't I just think that they're really not all that practical for me. I don't know or maybe it's just the one that I made was just so ugly that it just completely just like turned me off and I was like yeah I'm not making another shrug ever again I don't know I couldn't necessarily tell you but I do not have any interest in making another shrug in my life <laughs> I'm good I, I have I own one and I bought it and it is not crocheted it gets the job done it keeps me warm and yeah that's all I need I'm not making any crocheted shrugs they're not for me Simple as that. The next thing that I won't be making is anything with a traditional granny square, a uh, traditional granny square pattern. It's so basic and it's so boring and I think it's ugly. I don't think granny squares in general are ugly. 
just the basic version of it. I don't know what the appeal is. I mean, they've been around forever. People have been making those basic little granny squares out of blankets and like little other whatever type of tchotchkes and stuff. And that's cool. But I think we had enough of them. No more of those basic little like little bubble stitch granny square things. I don't like it. It's just not an appealing pattern to me. If this is like something you really like, I would like to know what it is, what it is about granny squares that you like so much. I think all of us crocheters out here, we can get a little bit more creative and come up with some stuff that definitely is visually more appealing than a basic granny square. The next thing that I will not be making is anything evil eye. I just don't like it. And I've seen it all over the place. Not even just with crochet. I've seen people making like earrings and like necklaces, doing like different beaded patterns of it. I just don't like it. There's really not much to it. I do not like the evil eye pattern. Okay, and the last thing that I will not be, I should say I won't be using to crochet because this isn't actually a crochet pattern. It's a yarn. It's not even necessarily a type of yarn. It's how they, <laughs> how they like package it. You guys know those yarns where they're like, it looks kind of like a, a, a number eight or something, but it's just like, woo, like twisted around itself like a pretzel or something. I hate those yarns. You know, I bought some of that yarn. I unraveled it. I thought, you know, this would be good. It looked like it wouldn't get tangled. And literally within two minutes of me like working with it, it was so tangled and I'll, I can't do anything with it. I'm not gonna sit there and unravel that. I'm just gonna go get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna show it to you. I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna find it because it's absolutely horrible. And if this is something that's like strictly on me, like there's a certain like way that I was supposed to unravel it that I didn't do, then I need somebody to tell me because this yarn had me so mad. I'm gonna just go get it. So this is what it, it looks like. And I guess it, maybe it doesn't look that tangled up um, from somebody else's point of view. Maybe it does, I don't know. But when I was trying to use it, it was a nightmare. I, I don't, it, oh my gosh. It, it got so tangled that it makes me not even like this pattern and like, these little specks and stuff that are in the yarn anymore. Like, I don't like anything about this. I just hate this yarn. And now I'm supposed to, am I supposed to like sit here and like actually like, like unravel all of this? No, I'm not. It's just gonna sit in a corner of my room and occasionally I'll look at it and regret buying it, but yeah. I'm not doing anything with yarn that gets like woven up and packaged in the manner that this was because this was a nightmare trying to work with. So that is all for today. Enough of the rant. Thank you for watching my video. If there was anything, like I said, that's on my list that I don't like that you love, you know, talk me through it in the comments on why you like it so much. And then if there's anything that you personally have in mind that you don't necessarily like so much and you know that like, yeah, there's no way in the world I'd ever make that. And it's like really popular and trendy nowadays. Leave those in the comments down below as well. Thank you very much for watching my video and I will see you guys next time.